Saints. So now the average holiday return cost is two thirds of the original price that you paid for that gift. That includes the price of transportation, warehouses, paying workers. Not all returns end up back on warehouse shelves. If you're wondering, you know, to be resold an estimated 5.8 billion tons of return packaging will end up in a landfill. It's just about six o'clock this morning. Here's what's happening today in LA. With the winter a COVID surge only getting worse after Christmas, a lot of you may be waking up wanting to get tested, but that's harder than it sounds. We're going to check in on some local sites in those long lines. Also, major travel trouble. Thousands of flights delayed or canceled. Holiday travelers stranded some of them. We are live at LAX with everything you need to know if you or a loved one is trying to get home. And our weather isn't going to help either. We're expecting another one to punch rain and snow. Meteorologist David Bigger, it's timing out the storm and we'll let you know how long it's going to stick around coming up. This is Today in LA at 6. Good morning, everyone. It is Monday, December 27th. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Daniela Guzman. And I'm Robin Winston filling in for Adrian Arambulo. It's pretty chilly if you haven't stepped outside. Very cold. <laughs> More we than bundled chilly. bundled up this morning. I have my coat on, uh -huh. my socks, my Uggs. Yeah. My goodness. Yep, you'll need it. Let's check in with meteorologist David Wigard. On top of all that, David, uh, it's going to rain. Yeah. yeah, so we have rain coming later on today. Uh. We've got some snow in the mountain spots. So if you're planning any mountain travel, you'll definitely want to pay attention to the forecast for today. Then we have even more more rain and snow coming our way later on this week. So temperatures right now as the as Daniela and Robin were mentioning, it's in it's chilly. We're in the upper 30s and low 40s right now. 40 in Ontario, 39 in Riverside, 40 degrees in Van Nuys, 23 in Big Bear and 34 degrees in Hemet and Temecula. Now later on today, we will start to see some rain showers develop, especially during the afternoon and evening hours. Can't rule out the chance we might have maybe a little sprinkle or two during the morning as well, and we will see some mountain snowfall. Now because of the mountain snowfall, we have a winter storm morning in the pink color that you see on the map here. This is for today. It is moderate to heavy snowfall above 4,000 feet. That means we could see snow through some of the passes and it will be poor travel conditions to the mountains. I'll have details on what to expect coming up in just a couple of minutes. But right now, let's send over to Holly. She's got to check of your roads this morning. That's right, Dan David. Uh, good Monday morning to you. Hope you had a great holiday weekend. We are in the IE right now where good news. Things look good on the 210, the 10, the 60. Also through Corona on the West 91. It is very light out there today. Also in Riverside, 215 looks great. Taking you back to downtown Los Angeles, where CHP says there's a wreck on the West 10 near Hoover. The left lane is blocked. I have a feeling that this has been moved over to the shoulder and the road where is clear only because about 10 minutes ago I was seeing red through downtown LA on the West 10 and now things are green. So some good news from Glendora to Glendale on the West 210. That drive will take you just about 20 minutes. You're at speeds in the the 60s. Things look good through Azusa, Monrovia, Pasadena, and then I'll uh, check the drive from Downey to LAX on the West 105. Take you about 20 minutes. You're at speeds in the 60s. Coming up, Daniela and Robin, I will check out the 405 in Hawthorne. All right, Holly, thank you. Well, the rapid spread of the Omicron variant is having a really big impact on holiday travel. Airlines cancel thousands of flights over the weekend because so many crews called in sick. Yeah. NBC4's Lauren Coronado is live at LAX to see how things are moving this morning. Lauren. Robin Daniela, we now know 58 more flights out of LAX have been canceled. A lot of passengers we spoke with say they're keeping a close eye on their itineraries and take a look at this departure board. We're looking at some canceled flights here, some due to weather, other due to those staffing shortages that you guys mentioned. But there were even more cancellations over the Christmas weekend. Major airlines pointing at the fast spreading Omicron variant. Employees testing positive for COVID-19 during the busiest travel period of the year. At least 87 flights canceled at LAX yesterday, 96 cancellations on Christmas Day and on Friday. At least 2,300 flights were canceled worldwide, according to the tracking site FlightAware.com. We spoke with one woman who says she and her family have been waiting more than 12 hours, hoping to board soon. It's been kind of a nightmare. <laughs> uh, canceled flights. Been here since 4 p.m. yesterday. Have my two kids and my boyfriend, and we're trying to get to Houston, and um, just canceled us, and then um, uh, delayed another flight, and then canceled that one, and so had to stay a hotel, in a hotel at one in the morning until four in the morning. So it's been a kind of quite a trek. <laughs> 